Uh, welcome back to um, our talks in regard uh, regards to the use of opiates. This is our second uh, talk. I want you to remember and keep in your uh, mind the goals of our pain management with the use of opiates. Those goals to remind you are that you have uh, tolerable pain most of the time with minimal or no side effects. You also need to experience improvement in your ability to function and also improvement in your quality of life. Uh, opiates are uh, potentially very dangerous drugs. They uh, can uh, obviously, if you take an excessive amount of opiates, you can suffer an overdose. Uh, for this reason, it's very important for you to be very, very careful with the use of your controlled substances, in particular opiates. We strongly advise all of our patients to uh, have their medications secured in a very safe location, preferably a safe. We recommend that you lock them up. You need to keep in mind that these are drugs um, are drugs that could potentially uh, kill children or even adults that are not used to taking them and that they need to be safely kept away from um, any children or people that are, are not used to taking opiates. The patients need to remember that these are drugs that other people like to steal. And uh, you should keep the fact that you're utilizing opiates to yourself and to your uh, spouse and uh, not talk about this widely. Uh, you need uh, to be wary of patients potentially taking your medications. Um, opiates uh, have some very definite uh, side effects. Uh, the number one side effect that we see is the side effect of constipation. Um, we will have a talk about constipation and how to treat that, uh, but it is the number one side effect that we see with the use of opiates. Patients, when they initially start taking opiates, can experience nausea or uh, also itching of their skin. Patients can also experience drowsiness and impairment of their ability to think clearly. As you uh, continue to take opiates, you will become uh, used to the effects of the opiates. And if you take them long enough, it uh, needs to be understood that if you take a high enough dose for long enough that you will become dependent upon opiates. Now, dependency is different than addiction and we'll have a separate talk uh, educating you about the difference between dependency and addiction and how they're very different entities. The number one uh, dangerous side effect is the side effect of sedation. Um, all patients need to remember that these are narcotics and a narcotic is a drug that can cause narcosis which is sleep or also a dreamlike state. Um, opiates can also um, cause cognitive impairment where you do not think as clearly uh, on these drugs as you do off of them. Now patients that take opiates on a long-term basis and take a steady dose experience minimal sedation and minimal cognitive impairment. In fact, many tests show that patients that take uh, long-term uh, steady doses of opiates can safely drive cars or operate heavy machinery. And in fact, patients with severe chronic pain oftentimes will drive better taking opiates than they will off of opiates. Um, we need to always remember that our goal at intractable pain centers, as, uh, as noted in our guidelines, is for the patients to use the lowest possible dose that they can to control their chronic pain. Um, the, the, uh, another very important point to remember is that you can always take more of the medication. What I mean by this is that once you take the medication, you cannot get it out of your body. It has to um, be metabolized and uh, get ri gotten rid of by your liver and kidneys. Uh, opiates are uh, generally regarded as uh, being 
very safe um, medications and they've never been shown to cause any organ impairment such as liver damage or uh, kidney damage or damage of the brain or heart. The uh, one type of opiate that we use um, such as Norco that contains Tylenol uh, can be potentially dangerous to the liver and patients need to take less than 3,000 milligrams of Tylenol in a day. Uh, and so if you're taking a medication such as Norco that contains 325 milligrams of Tylenol in each tablet, you should not take any more than nine of these in a day. Regardless, you should take the lowest possible dose to control your pain. The last thing that I want to talk about in this uh, second discussion of opiates is the potential danger of receiving a DUI. Um, just because the medications are prescribed does not give you a license to drive an automobile if you're impaired by anything. And you have to remember that opiates can combine with other sedating medications including things such as cough medications, um, or other uh, medications that are prescribed such as tranquilizers or anticonvulsants such as Lyrica or Neurontin. The opiates can combine with those medications and cause you to be impaired to the point that you can't safely drive an automobile. Other things that can cause you to be impaired are excessive stress or lack of sleep. Uh, if you are uh, very very stressed and you're not sleeping well and you take medications and you feel at all impaired, you should never ever drive an automobile. If you are stopped by a police uh, officer and uh, he checks you to see if you're impaired and if you are impaired you will receive a citation for driving under the influence and if it's found that you're taking pain medications the fact that you're having these prescribed will provide uh, little if any defense against um, a driving under the influence citation. So we strongly recommend that all patients that take any type of controlled substances always assess your uh, ability to get behind the wheel and that if you at any time determine that you're impaired in any way shape or form that you never drive. We don't want you to hurt yourself or anyone else. Um, we'll have uh, other talks about uh, opiates and the different types of opiates and other uh, aspects of the use of opiates for controlling chronic pain. But uh, these are some beginning uh, uh, points that uh, you need to remember in regards to the use of uh, opiates to manage chronic pain. Thank you for listening.